Hi folks, I'm from HanAndroid.com where we get yeah. on Android every day. Anyway, I got good news for you guys with a Note 3. Uh, if you have like a T-Mobile Sprint um, International SMN9005 Canadian, you can go ahead and install the CM12 Lollipop. Uh, this is a beta version. Um, the only thing not working, I'll point out uh, as we go over it, uh, is the video camera. Still camera works and also NFC. Otherwise, it's actually pretty usable. I've, I've actually been using it for a couple days now. I've switched over from my S5 to the Note 3 with the Lollipop. The S5 version is actually a lot better, so I might switch back to that. Uh, but this is pretty usable, I would say. The battery life is pretty good, better than TouchWiz. Uh, and also, performance is excellent. So let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go do this, baby. Hi, folks. So I've got CM12 Android 5.0 installed on my T-Mobile uh, Note 3. But you can go ahead and install it on uh, the SMN9005, the international version, Canadian. Um, also, there is a Sprint version uh, for AT&T, Verizon users. You're out of luck because you have a, a locked bootloader, so you'll have to go complain to uh, Verizon or AT&T to unlock the bootloader. Uh, for root, make sure um, it does come with Super User, but uh, uh, I do recommend installing the Super SU to get full root. Uh, because you'll get some warnings with the SU binaries if you just use a regular super user. Um, just flash the super user after uh, you install it. Uh, installation is pretty easy. It's pretty much basic forward, uh, forward just like a regular ROM. Just install it. Uh, make sure you, you don't forget uh, Google Apps, G Apps. And it is actually pretty solid. Battery life is very good. Um, you're going to get the same battery life as stock TouchWiz or better. Of course, you're going to lose all of your uh, S Pen features and stuff like that. For S Pen, I mean, it still works. You just have to find some S Pen uh, alternative apps. I also have a page on that. Uh, but uh, for basic functionality, for taking notes and stuff, it will work just fine. And also, um, my Wi-Fi is actually really slow. Comcast, something happened to Comcast today. Uh, 4 GLT works just fine. And it does take a little bit uh, to pick up 4GLT. That's the only thing um, I can point out. Also, NFC does not work. Uh, there we go. Finally got LTE there. Uh, but data works just fine. And also camera works. Um, you can go ahead and grab uh, Papyrus. Papyrus. Uh, this one also works if you want to install this. Um, the Note feature works. Just, you know, the Samsung uh, apps don't work. Also, if you want to get your SD card bigger than 32 gigabytes working, um, you'll have to format it as NTFS. Uh, look for NTFS formatter on Google, or if you have a Windows computer, you can easily format it. Just do right click, uh, quick format, and then choose NTFS. Now, when you format your SD card in NTFS, uh, it's going to read in your system, uh, but it's not going to read in your uh, clock remote recovery or torp recovery. So that's one thing bad about it. But uh, um, the SD card works just fine if you do as I've told you. And I've got uh, my 64 gigabyte working just fine. Um, so NTFS is the way to go. And other than that, uh, it is a pretty solid ROM. I've actually used it as daily driver. I've switched now from my S5 to the Note 3. Uh, because I really want to check out the, you know, the lollipop, just really get a feel for it. Um, so this is my daily driver. Have no problems whatsoever. Again, the only problem is the NFC uh, and the camera works. Actually, you know what? The camera is broke also. The video camera recording works. I mean, it records, but uh, it, it won't actually play it back. You'll get this blank, weird screen. You'll just get the sound out of it. All right. Uh, but the camera, still camera itself is working. So, I mean, it is a beta version if you don't mind the video camera not working um, and also NFC not working. It could be a daily driver, but uh, eventually all of it should be fixed, uh, but uh, everything else is working, so you should get a feel for um, the UI. Ooh, let's run actually N22 real quick, and I see how fast this is. Uh, supposedly, uh, with the S5, we saw a gain of almost 10,000 points um which was really nice so with the note 3 we should expect some good performance gains also so let's do a quick n22 test and uh let's see how we do 
And I will fast forward this um, so you guys don't have to uh, wait for it. Let me go ahead and start test here. And let's just fast forward all of this. All right. Boom shagalaka. All right, boom shakalaka. We got 37,547. That's like a tad higher. That's not as uh, good, a, good of a result we saw with um, the Galaxy S5 with Lollipop. But still not a bad deal, um, not a deal breaker. One of the things I like about Lollipop uh, that I can tell you from using uh, Lollipop, um, you can actually set it to uh, all, prior all notifications or if you want to just get uh, priority. And one thing I really like is before I go to sleep, I really don't need the notification, so I set it to none. Um, so that will not give you, you know, uh, that will not set off your phone, uh, but you will still be able to receive your important phone calls. So this is one feature uh, that's kind of cool. Um, so you can set it to priority or, or all. Um, so that's really nice. Other than that, um, just try it out. I mean, this is a beta version. You can't lose. I mean, just make a backup ROM uh, and then install the ROM. Try it out, you know. If you don't like it or if you can't use it as daily driver because you need your video camera or NFC, go ahead and restore your ROM back after trying it. Um, also, I do recommend doing this you know, when you have a lot of free time. Um, some people do it like right before going on vacation or right before going on an important business trip and telling me, oh, Max, help me fix this. So, uh, I have to go on a trip tomorrow. And I'm like, why did you even mess with your phone um so or may get a second phone if you want to just tweak around anyway that's it um try it out lollipop is available for those of you uh with a note three and i will see you guys soon yeah and thanks guys for watching this video as always if you like this video don't forget to hit that like subscribe and uh i should have more lollipop and coming um so watch out for that and i will see you guys soon as always stay yeah on Android.